Hello again, I am Blunty with another off-the-cuff impromptu video because I just saw something that uh, is kind of stuck in my mind and I kind of really had to share with you guys because it's kind of fun. Uh, so, if you're not aware, Google I.O. is going on at the moment and if you're not aware what Google I.O. is, it's the developer conferencing. It's where they get all the people who make all the nifty Google apps and stuff together in a big room. Well, not all of them, but you know, a representative group of them. Uh, and tell them what they're doing with Android, what new things they're doing, what new API stuff they're doing, what they're doing with the phones and with the uh, Android Wear stuff, the smartphone stuff. And uh, there was no Google Glass this time, uh, but you know Google TV. They're, give, they're giving that another bash again for what feels like the third or fourth time they're trying to sort of uh, stamp their foot into the big screen in your living room. Uh, to their credit, this time around, it seems like they might have got it right. And at the end of these presentations, they tend to give away. Uh, new hardware bits and pieces for the developers so they have the latest and greatest stuff to develop for uh, you know they gave away the Nexus at one of the first ones and the Nexus 3 and 4 and stuff like that they gave away the Google Glass to a bunch of people last year or the year, last year year before last year I forget this year however they gave away uh, uh, one of two uh, Google Wear smartwatch type things for the developers so they can get uh, sort of a head start on playing around with those so when they do finally come to market a little bit later this year to uh, normal people actually I know the LG ones available now but yeah anyway you got to get them in the hands of the developers so they can make apps for them and stuff but there was one sort of oh and one more thing actually no it came before the smartwatch see I'm rambling here I should have prepared this but they gave away this thing they called cardboard and they said well you can tweet about it using hashtag cardboard and what it is is a flat pack cardboard oculus rift style thing basically and I feel like it was kind of a, a little kick in the side to Facebook paying two billion dollars for oculus and I'm still pissed that oculus sort of sold out to Facebook because regular viewers will know I fucking hate Facebook I just do the social pass and I will not use any of the products ever so as soon as Facebook bought oculus I was like nope I was really excited about oculus but I'm not giving any of my money and my information and whatever else Facebook would want to do with oculus I'm, I'm just I'm out I'm out <laughs> done uh, so Google are obviously experimenting with it now and they're trying to get developers thinking about it and playing with it and they've got this little cardboard construct it comes flat packed you fold it up it's got some sort of bits of sticky tape or rubber bands and a couple of lenses and stuff and the whole idea is nothing new. There have been a couple of Kickstarter campaigns about these kind of goggle things that your smartphone slides into to give you that virtual reality, augmented reality kind of experience. But Google's approach is kind of fresh and interesting in that it's done as basic as possible with a piece of cardboard and a few lenses and you know, rubber band and stuff. Uh, just to show that it doesn't have to be complex. All the you know intelligence you need is in the smartphone. All you need is a couple of lenses and you split the screen and you do stuff like that. And it was along the kind of similar lines, I remember one or two years ago, 2011 or something, Ikea did a similar thing. They gave away this cardboard digital camera. You folded it up yourself and had all the bits in it, you threw a couple of batteries in it. And, you know, it was, a, it was a throwaway thing. It wasn't a very good digital camera. It wasn't very interesting. It was sort of a very lo-fi thing, but it got a ton of press because it was so fresh and interesting. This is kind of the same thing, a cardboard Oculus Rift. And you're going to see that over the next uh, day or two, that sitting in the, in the headlines of tech sites and stuff as they write about this cardboard Oculus Rift. And it's cool. And, and aside from giving all the developers one of these, uh, Google put up instructions on how to make your own. You do have to get, you know, they've given you the measurements of how to cut out the cardboard and everything. You have to get a rubber band. But the trickiest part is the lenses. You need very specific lenses to make it work properly because you need one for each eye and you split the screen on the smartphone device and get that stereoscopic view uh, like Oculus does and like these VR things do. Then I came across, uh, I was reading an article of Ozdroid, an Australian uh, website that do that cover everything Android, basically. And they linked across to Dodo Case and to their, if you haven't heard of Dodo Case before, they do this really high-end, quite expensive, but really lovely, you know, uh, material, you know, leathers and, and woods and stuff, the cases for your smartphones and your tablets and stuff. And I've always really wanted one, but they're really ridiculously really expensive. I can never justify spending that much on a case for my phone. But they, they got on the ball and they said, well, people are going to want to be playing with this and the lenses are the hardest thing to find. You have to order a couple of different bits and pieces from different places. Why don't we just make a pack and sell it to people? That way we can get people to come into our site and they register and, you know, they, you know trying to, to, to leap off Google's excitement off this very clever business decision and full credit to them for getting on the ball this quickly about it. So they've sourced all the bits and pieces, including the tricky to get lenses, uh, and you can buy it for like 25 bucks. 
plus another 25 or so shipping as it turns out so a little under 50 bucks and you get your own cardboard oculus vr so of course i ordered one straight away because i thought it's going to be fun it'll be interesting to do a little video i can put together a, a video of me building it and then playing with it and doing a little mini review or something i don't know i'm always on the lookout for interesting stuff to make content about so i thought why the f not so i ordered one um four to six weeks delivery time because i guess they've just they've just pounced on it and they've got to actually get the stuff from suppliers and then ship it out to people and everything but you know the demand is going to be high i reckon because that the the thought that 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 catchphrase of the cardboard oculus rift is going to capture a lot of people's imagination i think um i've heard apparently it does work with iphone as well because it's basically just a cardboard thing with lenses and your iphone or your, your smartphone slides into it apparently you can sort of prop the iPhone up into the proper position and it will work. Uh, but I do have a bunch of other Android devices laying around here, so I'm sure I'll find one that'll work with it. Um, I did tweet about, by the way, because Google's official page has a list of phones that it will it is compatible with, and I made a joke on Twitter that um, Android is so hopelessly, catastrophically fragmented that even Google can't make a piece of cardboard compatible with more than a fistful of the <laughs> Android handset models, which... Um, I thought it was funny. Anyway, that's it. The link is in the description and probably floating around on screen here somewhere up there for the uh, the Dodo case. Um, do it do yourself cardboard Oculus Rift hashtag cardboard Google Android virtual reality augmented reality headset face thingy. Uh, so yeah, drop a comment if you're going to order one or uh, wait for someone else to have a play with one and uh, what sort of uh, interesting future you see about <laughs> cardboard versus uh, what's Oculus Rift? The re re estimated retail price is like $300 or something. Uh, that's the heard. Anyway, I am Blunty. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time. Um...